James Harden, what are you doing, my guy? James Harden, he's back at it again with the recent comments he made towards Daryl Morey. Take a listen. Uh, Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Oh. Yes, James Harden is letting the world know, letting the universe know that Daryl Morey is a liar, a deceiver, and a guy who cannot be trusted. He was hoodwinked, basically. Maybe they had an under the table deal saying, you know what, James, take less money, take $15 million less, let's get PJ Tucker. We will compete for a championship, Eastern Conference Finals, NBA Finals, then next season, We'll re-up and get you that max deal. We don't know if Daryl Morey said that. Or the other case could be Daryl Morey said, hey, Harden, just opt in your contract and then I'll get you to where you need to be. And that place was, i.e., the Clippers. But we know the Clippers cannot offer anything, anything of value to the 76ers that would match the value of James Harden. Even though James Harden is not the prime James Harden, he's still a James Harden who's giving you 21, seven and 10. And he did have two explosive games in the playoffs. Game one against the Celtics in game four, but after that he didn't show up game five, game six or game seven. Let's be honest and they were defeated by the Boston Celtics, which still hurt my heart to this day. Back to James Harden. James Harden, why do you insist on going this route? Do you want to be remembered as the guy who continues to burn bridges with every single organization he's a part of? Or do you want to be remembered at the, as the guy who had the lethal, unstoppable step back, able to get to the wreck? change the way the game was officiated do you want to be remembered as that or you be remembered as the guy who always wants out when things start to get tough you're playing with the mvp and you know what i'm not gonna skip to the 76 days let's go back to the houston rockets days when james harden was playing for the rockets phenomenal unstoppable mvp the guy could not be slowed down Unless you got to the playoffs, then of course he would slow down then. But nonetheless, James Harden was a phenomenal basketball player in Houston. During that time, I had James Harden as a top three shooting guard of all time. The way he was playing basketball. Right now, I have him as a top five, top seven shooting guard of all time. James Harden in Houston, you got Chris Paul. Okay, you wanted that, Daryl Morey got you that. You wanted Westbrook, Daryl Morey got you that. And then you wanted out, Daryl Morey got you that. And you went to the Brooklyn Nets. And let's not forget, you showed up late to training camp camp in Houston. We remember the story that John... <laughs> let's play the story that John Wall gave us about James Harden not showing up to training camp or showing up to training camp late. Please play that clip. <laughs> Trash. I know. I know. Beyond trash. Like, because uh, I'm going there thinking Jane's going to be there, you know what I mean? Once yeah. I get traded. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he already wants out. So when I landed, I'm like, what up, Ooh, I'm about to land. If I go do my conference shit, he's like, well, I'm on my way to Atlanta for a little baby birthday. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, he talking about you want to give him jail with me, bitch. I trade here. <laughs> I can't. I gotta be on good terms. Like, I don't know how the yeah. owner is, the GM is. I don't know nothing. Yeah, like, right. it's new. This ain't like I'm in DC. Am I in DC? I'm like, hell yeah, we out. Right. It's my show. Yeah. This ain't my show over here. Yeah, nah. So we do that. They like, so he don't come to training camp, none of that. So, you know, that that news is all toxic yeah. for me. I ain't playing two years. Right. Mom passed, Achilles, mm -hmm. then COVID. So I'm like, I don't give a f who playing, who not. I just want to hoop. I'm just trying to get yeah. on the court. That's it. So I did that, went there, I played. I mean, we lost 20 in a row. We were trying to lose on purpose. Thank you. Yes, that was James Harden. And James Harden is doing the same thing now for the 76ers. He's basically saying, hey, I'm not showing up to training camp. I'm not playing the same Ben Simmons saga we saw two years ago. We're having that with a top 75 player of all time. But at the end of the day, this will work for James Harden. Because you know why? Players always went out. James Harden putting Daryl Morey on blast has now just fractured the relationship. You could not have this dude in the locker room. It won't work. You won't win a championship. I don't care what goes on because he already said this out in public instead of keeping this in house. 
It's over with. It's done. It's finito. It's over with. Now to the Brooklyn Nets days, James Harden playing like an MVP, playing great. This dude was in the MVP discussion after that injury. We know James Harden never was the same after that injury in Brooklyn. That changed him completely. He lost his step. He wasn't able to have that quick burst, get past his defender anytime he felt like it. He wasn't the same James Harden. He wasn't after that injury. Went to Philly last year. I gave him a pass. I said, you know what, Harden? You showed up to Philly halfway through the season, okay? You really wasn't, you know, you really wasn't ready to win a championship just yet or even make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. I gave you a pass. But this season, you had a full season with a MVP in Joel Embiid, and you didn't get it done. You didn't show up. We can talk about Joel Embiid not showing up because he didn't show up either, crying about the MVP complaining about Joker, and we saw what Joker did in the NBA Finals and throughout the playoffs. But James Harden did not step up. He had a great game, game, game one, game four against the Boston Celtics, but after that, he didn't show up. And now he is telling Daryl Morey and the 76ers, you know what? I cannot play for you guys. I don't want to compete for a championship with the 76ers. I want out. And only way that I'm going to get out of this contract and out of Philly is to just go on, go on this rampage and say, you know what, Daryl Moore, he lied to me. He told me he's going to give me some, give me something under the table. And he, that didn't happen. He didn't say that he was going to give him some under the table, but that's really the cloud around the smoke around this situation right now that Daryl Moore probably Offer James Harden an under the table deal saying, hey, take 15 million list. So let's get PJ Tucker. Let's compete in our re up. We'll give you the max deal. But does James Harden do? And I get frustrated talking about James Harden because James Harden is one of my favorite players in the NBA. He's a great player. But doing foolishness like this, it hurts your stock. I don't know what team is willing to take a James Harden like this, who's forcing his way out of this 10-year relationship he was with, with Daryl Morey. Going to a new team, I mean, with a guy in James Harden who's not the same James Harden he used to be. So James Harden, do you want to be remembered as the guy, the guy that just wanted it his way? and burned every relationship that he was a part of. Because right now, James Harden is the guy in a relationship, that person, that guy or girl, that person, you know, that person in a relationship. They go through 15, 10, 12 relationships, and they always complain about the other person. But they never look in the mirror and say, hey, you know what? I need to change some things. Maybe James Harden needs to change some things and for him in these relationships to work out. But if Daryl Morey, if Daryl Morey told James Harden, hey, I will give you a max deal. Just take less money. And Daryl Morey didn't keep his word. Shame on Daryl Morey. Even though I think that's illegal, according to the NBA. But shame on Daryl Morey for not keeping his word towards James Harden. But if he told James Harden, like, hey, I can get you to the Clippers and wasn't able to do it, I don't really blame Daryl Morey on that because you still, in return, have to get something of value to give to your MVP on your team. Joel Embiid is the main factor. Is the guy, is the centerpiece, the cornerstone for the 76ers. So what I look like trading away James Harden to get back a couple of guys that won't help me compete in the Eastern Conference. What do I look like? You look like somebody who doesn't have any sense. So for Daryl Morey to just trade James Harden for anything, you will end up losing Embiid in the end. And at this, re at this rate, Embiid will leave the 76ers soon. It's going to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. James Harden, right now, it's all about him. He needs to get what he wants at all times. We saw him do it with the Rockets. We saw him do it with the Nets. Now we're seeing him do it in Philly. The common denominator is James Harden. But Darren Morey, if you promised something and didn't fulfill it, shame on you. Shame on you if you had some ill intentions here. I don't know if you did. I don't know your heart. But James Harden. You are better than this.
I want you to be remembered as a guy who was a lethal shooting guard, unstoppable scorer, not a guy that cried when the situation got muddy and tried to find a way to escape. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Ah, Augusto, oh, you're doing too much. James Harden is doing the right thing by calling the liar out. Or if you think, no, James Harden, you opted in. You could have became a free agent. That's your fault. Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.